All right, Leah, I'm gonna take you back a little bit. Okay. To our first ever show. Ooh, all right, so we're going a little while back. We're going a little while back, so get back from your memory and think. There was um, a certain segment that maybe stood out. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe a certain TikTok couple. Ooh, ooh, I know them. You know them? <laughs> I hope you know them because they're on our couch today. Megan and Jack. Oh, yeah, Jack, right next oh to my you. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Megan. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I love this. How did we get here? Surprise. Surprise. They're in here. Yeah, so yeah. you guys probably remember we met Megan and Jack, the TikTok at Megan and Jack. Duh. Um, and they are a local couple who really do social media and influencing for their whole career. So yep. welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Happy to be here. I love this because we were talking and when we first met you guys, when we were first chatting, you guys had, I think it was a measly 4.9 million followers. <laughs> measly. Measly. Yeah. Whatever. But a lot has changed since then. So from the last time we talked, just really what's changed? Get us updated. Um, whew, man, what's changed? Uh, well, we've, we've grown a lot on like our other platforms in general. Mm -hmm. Our Instagram's grown a lot. Um, YouTube, we recently hit a million subscribers, which is a big yeah, milestone nice. for oh, us. Congratulations. Um, and uh, so we just had like a lot of different, um, basically milestones that we're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. Instagram, we're, we're climbing as well, and we're at like 830,000 on Instagram mm -hmm. now. Close yeah. to a million And we're close too. to a million, so we're constantly trying to, I guess, climb on all of them. Um, and really not much has changed, mm -hmm. like as far as like we're always trying to grow every day as mm -hmm. people and in our content. So Just like learning social media changes all the time. Yeah. Like yeah. what people want to see on all that stuff. So just kind of like keeping yeah. up with that. Yeah. Being like, all right, this is how we're going to grow. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, we've talked a lot on the show. Um, a, a lot of times it comes up, you know, could you, would you work with your significant other, yeah. Yeah. especially full time, especially doing social media? I mean, you guys even joked you yeah. spend a lot of time <laughs> together. Don't do it. <laughs> it's literally the worst thing I've ever done. No. She's <laughs> actually holding me hostage. But, um, so what is it like, I guess, working with your significant other all day, every day? It is, I think, Honestly, everyone always asks me this because sure. they're like, they're like, I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I would get so tired of them, like him or her, or whatever. But I think we're so blessed. Like we mm -hmm. get along so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, like we have our time too. Like we need to spend apart. Like I'll sure. go read my book. He'll play mm -hmm. his video games, whatever. But yeah. our creative minds are constantly bouncing off each other, and that is how we work. Like mm -hmm. I say an idea, he bounces off of it, and like arguments happen. Of yeah. Sure. But like at the end of the day our minds meld so well together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And awesome. I love that. Absolutely. We spend a lot of time together. Oh. A lot <laughs> of time. And it does get to the point where it's like, you know, obviously we get a little frustrated with each other, mm -hmm. but, you know, I don't know where I read it, but it was like the average person spends like, average married couple spends like, what, three hours a day, like quality time mm -hmm. together like or something like that. Time, you yeah. spend so much of your day in the office. Mm -hmm. If yeah. your office is with each other, then yeah, exactly. you get a little bit more of that time back. And so sometimes- I remember Jack and I were like, Wow, we spend average twenty three hours a day together. <laughs> yeah. So. Sometimes I get a little bit like you know we'll like work. You mm -hmm. could say we make content stuff like that, and then I'm like, sweet, our quality time's good for the day. All right, I'm gonna go do my own thing, and Megan's like, ah, no, I don't like count. Because for and me, I'm, I'm like, like quality time is like sitting down together. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Like, and Jack's yeah. like, I was with you for an hour, or so we're good. And for love <laughs> languages. Yeah. Yeah. yeah different exactly. Love languages. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. Um. So I remember we were talking too because we did have this discussion a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. I said no, I could not do it, mm -hmm. but. What you mentioned of your minds, go, you know, kind of welding together, if you will. I was there when you guys made a TikTok, uh -huh. and it was incredible because Megan would be like, "Jack, okay, do this," and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll do this," and uh -huh. it's just, and the, and I'm like, "Wait, the TikTok's done? Like, you guys made it? It yeah. was so <laughs> incredible." That's it. Those it was creative minds oh, get together. You. Yeah, thank you. That's a really big compliment. No, yeah. because really, truly, I don't think I could do social media full time. You know, so what are what are some of the biggest challenges, not relationship wise? Because I think I didn't mention yet they're married. If you didn't put that together, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but what are the biggest challenges, just social media wise? Mm. I would say one of the biggest challenges social media wise is probably the ability to come up with something and to share specific parts of your life because we have to pull out a camera at moments in our life where you wouldn't think about pulling out a camera. Mm. Yeah. Um, the and natural so instinct to be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna capture this on film. Yeah. Or like or hey, like that was really funny and I think that people would enjoy also seeing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean like we did one where uh, did you see the one where we were with the pigs yes. in the Bahamas? That was so yeah. fun. We did that one and I was like, and for a video like that, that's more simple because it's just like, okay, this is an experience and I'm just gonna capture it the mm -hmm. whole time. But in order for that to happen, I do have to sacrifice me experiencing that. Mm. Uh, yeah. for the, to capture that. So yeah. um, 
And but I got to capture you doing it. I know you really want to do it. He so. gave me like we each got cups to like of, of apples to feed the pigs. And he was like, "You can have my cup." Yeah. And I was like, "Yes." Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. It was it was fun. It was cute. And I would say too, we have different, like, like I said, our minds meld so well together. Mm -hmm. But we also have decent differences yeah. in the way yeah, that we are absolutely. too. In the way that like he's very like. Let's say we're filming like a, a skit or something. Mm -hmm. He's very specific in like, you know, the angle of the camera, the way things are, and which is good. Yeah. And sometimes I'm mm -hmm. like, hey, like, I think just letting it flow a little more naturally yeah. is better. Mm -hmm. Letting do this. And so we kind of bounce off each other in that we way do. too. Like like balance each other out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, yeah. In, yeah. In Cause I'd like be that. I would be too strict on videos if I were to just do them on my own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she would be too free and easy. I mm -hmm. guess you could yeah. kind of say. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we like get that. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we definitely balance each other out on that. Mm -hmm. I think it's really difficult, honestly, to like do social media and not have someone mm -hmm. to like help you with that, mm -hmm. because a lot of people that we know, even if they're just doing the content on their own, they have they're married and they have someone to film for them. You know, they have a relationship or someone someone to carry the camera around or a really good friend. And so I recommend, like, if anyone that's trying to get into social media. You know, hopefully you have like a best friend that wants to do it with you, something like that, because it makes it a lot easier. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you notice a lot of times there's always someone filming behind the camera, and you mm -hmm. need that. So yeah. and not even just filming for you, but the idea of like you say a joke, you start laughing, and the other person's like, "I got to capture this." Yeah. Like yeah. you're doing something yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. I can because like, they don't even think at the time. Right. Mm -hmm. sure. the camera. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's the beautiful thing that we have. Is I do something funny, do something funny. Yeah. yeah. But you guys do do a great job of keeping it authentic, yes. in my opinion. Oh, you thanks. know, and just filming yeah. your your life. And I remember last time we talked to you, kind of mentioned about the line of of filming the good things and maybe the, the mm -hmm. not so good mm -hmm. things. I think yeah. you guys do a great job of, of keeping it pretty in the middle. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, definitely. We definitely try with that. Mm -hmm. And it's hard, especially to like social media. We love it. I think it's an amazing thing, mm -hmm. but it can also be a really toxic thing. Yeah. Sure. And so, of course, there yeah. are there are moments I'm like, this was a more like harder moment in our life, but I want to share that with people. Mm -hmm. And then there's times where you're like, if I share that, is the consequences of that gonna, you know what I mean? Sure. Where it's like, you might, you don't mean something a bad way, but social media can take it that way. Yeah. So it's hard to keep that line. That's for sure. And not cross it. That is for sure. Yes. We, 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 that's what we're gonna <laughs> yeah. <do>. Yep. <laughs> Great. Um, well, just one final question for you, because I know, Jack, you're a big supporter of like, hey, get into it, try it out. Mm -hmm. So if someone's watching, what advice do you have for them if they're like, let's try social media? Uh, my biggest advice would be to study your like top 10 favorite creators mm -hmm. and figure out the type of content you want to do, and go based off of that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people try to go into it, and they're like, I'm going to be just absolutely original, and mm -hmm. it's going to be awesome, and I'm going to create a new pathway. Creating a new pathway is extremely difficult yeah. to the point that you, 99% of the time, I would say you will get discouraged, and you will quit before you even continue on with that. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. um, so start out with a pattern that already works, mm -hmm. yeah. um, with a type of editing style that already works. Don't copy content you yeah. know, to the point where it's just not original. Right. Um, that's what I would say is figure out the type of content you want to do and then just go down the lane and post every single day um, until eventually something will hit if you do that and you use that. Yeah, I would definitely say, to kind of going off of what you said, which is like, find the, ki the kind of content you want because a lot mm -hmm. of people are just like, I'll just post a bunch of random stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's cool too. It's random sounds do, do well on mm -hmm. TikTok. You know, yeah. you're like, oh, this is a funny song or this is cool sound. But the thing is, is if you don't have a niche, whether it's couples content, whether you're yeah. like, I like doing shopping hauls, mm -hmm. uh, I want to eat food on camera. If you don't have that specific thing and you find that one thing that does well for you and you continue to post that over and over again, it's really hard to grow. That's a good mm -hmm. You got to find one thing that you like doing and you're yeah. like, I'm going to give people what they want because they like that the first time. Yep. So we're going to continue on that. That's yep. a good point. Yep. Maybe I'll make a crochet TikTok. There you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, you know what? There are so many specific things there on TikTok. Is. True. True. I'm True. sure you could find yeah. it. You could go into the world of there crochet TikTok. Perfect. Thanks. Well, you follow me, right, Leah? Of course. <laughs> thank you. I already do. Amazing. <laughs> well, thank you so much for, for coming on the couch today. It's been really great catching up with you guys. Absolutely. Yes. A lot of people have been fangirling uh, since they've been in here. <laughs> yes. um, but I just wanted to know what you guys have been up to. So I think this is a great just follow up for our viewers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it yeah, was so fun. Thanks for having us. Appreciate okay. yes. We'll have you back on again in about six months then. Okay. Yep. Yes. Counting awesome. awesome. <laughs> down the days. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, thank you guys again and thank you for tuning in. And you don't have to go anywhere yet. We have more Coast Life on the way.